What's up guys, Go here and welcome back to another 6pm content video where today we are back, it is Monday, it used to be upgrade day on Monday, it's FC25, we're not going to get upgrades today but we're going to check out what we are getting for 6pm content. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video a like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and with that, let's see what we get today. And so here we go, as I say, it, Monday's known for an upgrade day but... I mean, we're not exactly going to get, like, 81-plus player picks, are we? I mean, it's also EA. I wouldn't be shocked if they made us do it. But we'll see what we get today. I'm guessing maybe, like, an Evo. Something maybe a bit fun. Who knows what we're actually going to see. I don't think... We haven't got any new squad foundation cards, which is good because, you know, there's a lot to work on them already, to be honest with you. Nothing new in terms of milestones. Nothing new there. Pro was there already. And then no new live cards, which is fine. So... Do we have a new Evo for today? Nothing new in terms of cosmetics, nothing new in Welcome to Evos, and then nothing new in actual Evos as well. Bit of a shock. Maybe we're not going to get any content today. I mean, I, I am hoping we do get something, because we're... I mean, do we need content? No, we actually don't need content. It's so early in the game, we really don't need it. Oh, oh, it is upgrade day. It is actually upgrade day. Uh, 77 double upgrades three every single day i mean it's better than a two player pack i i didn't actually expect that we're also going to get alex uh or alex garcia alex garcia alex garcia uh two segments for him as well uh we'll check out the upgrades first i mean the game's not even out yet but hey ho you need wow seven rare gold cards and 11 cards all together now if we go to our sbc storage Oh, I don't have anything in here. I thought I had stuff in the storage. Well, clearly not. Um, unless... No, I've got nothing in my storage. Okay, well, I don't know what's happened there. But anyway, um, we were going to build one. I'm not going to bother. I, I don't think these are worth it. I mean, if you've got nothing else to put, like, untradeable duplicates into, then fine. Go ahead and do it. But still, not really ideal. Um... Alex Garcia is 3 star, 4 star, 5 for 8, sentiment of CDM, obviously decent links with being Spanish and Leverkusen. All round, pace is all right, shooting's okay, passing's good, dribbling's good, defending's okay. If you're looking to use him as like a holder midfield, it depends on what his roles are. So deep line playmaker and box to box. I mean, maybe an engine on him, maybe a catalyst. Or maybe a shadow is kind of what you're looking at, in all honesty. It's not bad. Uh, what has he got on this? Um, he's got press proven as well. It's not a bad card. It's just not, like, super top tier. It is only an 82 and an 84 rated team. So it's not super expensive, which I think is right because this shouldn't be super expensive to do. Um, again, if you've just got untradeable cards lying around, it's not too bad. But overall, I think that's it for today's content. I, I don't think there's anything else. As I said, I didn't expect to see... 77 plus packs but still it's not the worst thing in the world now one thing we can quickly talk about as well is a uh, bronze pack method now i've also been doing a few silver packs um from drafts and all sorts and you can even get sales of some stuff selling for like a few thousand coins it's really good uh, there you go two and a half thousand coins for a random norwegian center back in the danish league basically what's happening right now is any sort of daily sbc that ea releases is everybody is pretty much doing it because they've got nothing else to do. 1,800 uh, on a random Turkish centre mid. So BPM is doing wonders right now. So if you haven't done it already, check out a few videos over on YouTube. There's not personally for myself, but from lots of other people or Twitter, loads of people are doing BPM. So it is worth checking out because I think it is worth your time. I'd say most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. Um, but yeah, it's not actually a bad thing to do. It feels really weird that that's it for content, but at the same time, I don't really expect too much. The only other thing I want to quickly check is Rush. There was meant to be... Yeah, we have now got this in. This was meant to come out yesterday. It is only there for two days, but it is max 74 overall, max 85 pace. Bring your low pace items and battle it out in this limited time event. So... Again, no real difference in terms of earning rewards, I presume, but still, not too bad. Silvers may go up in price because of people trying to, like, do it. It doesn't say that you need to have untradeable cards as well. 
uh, it was, I think this one was untradeable cards. Yeah. So, oh no, this one does have to be untradeable. Okay, so silver cards won't go up. Although, people can be a bit stupid like me and actually think that they can use tradable cards. So, maybe they will go up. Who knows? Keep an eye on your silvers for that anyway. Silvers will be up in price anyway. But to finish... I mean, we'll open a 75 times 2 pack if we can get anything great. Fantastic. But I highly doubt it. We've not had the best of luck at times recently. We've had a few decent bits. Do you know what? Christian Pulisic was extinct. Now, I don't know if he's still going to be extinct. But it's not a bad card to get our hands on. All in all, looks a very good card to use. As I say, I'm not too sure why he's extinct. Because as much as he's a good card, his price range must be the thing that's messed up the most on him. But yeah, he is extinct. We will absolutely take that. Let me know down below what you guys are getting from your packs. Are you doing any of those brand new upgrades? For now, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I'm out. Peace.